hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be teaching you guys how to contour um not necessarily contour because um just how to contour with powders and make it look like really natural and just like telling you guys the difference between using a bronzer and actual contour kit to contour um you know um over the past few months i've i've learned how to contour and make it look more natural than i did before and that's because i've been watching more professionals and you know i've been I went through my shit of, you know, I think everyone does that through there. Like, oh my god, damn girl, what you doing? So, I didn't want anyone else to go through that. So, um, spreading the word, I'm teaching, you know. So, um, I'm going to start rambling on and get right into it. All right. One tip and one lesson that I've learnt in contouring is that using a bronzer is not for contouring using a bronzer is used to actually warm up your skin tone because you know when you guys put foundation on your face looks really flat that's why you're taking all the dimensions from your face because your face has a natural contour even around the nose a bit around the forehead and definitely where your cheekbones are no matter how chubby your cheekbones you still have a slight contour a natural contour and natural contours are shadows so you're supposed to use a sculpting um product or a contour kit or a contour powder to actually um to actually set your contour if that makes sense guys and using a bronzer is used to warm up the skin and um what i like using a bronzer to do is actually transition in so i don't actually i use it to warm up the skin and then i go in with my darker sort of shade of bronzer and of yeah of, um, for contouring anyway so um as you know, um, bronzers always come like sort of in sort of like they have a red undertone. So I've got two here just to show you. Um, this is the Terracotta bronzer and this is the MUA bronzer that I use quite a lot. And the Terracotta bronzer, I can, as you can see, it's got sort of a greyish undertone. And that's actually great because I can use that for bronzing as well for my natural contour. I don't use it, sorry, not bronzing. I use it for contouring rather than to bronze up my face because it has a really nice great undertone and as you know shadows naturally have a great sort of undertone whereas this the MUA bronzer and this is in shade 2 has a red undertone this is not going to be classed as a contour shade one of the best contour kits that I absolutely love is this sleek face contour kit and I use the um, dark palette it's got a highlighter but I absolutely love this contour. As you can see again, it's got a grey. That's why it's called a contour kit and not a bronzing kit. That's why uh, most contours are great on the tone. I'm going to keep emphasising on that so you guys can actually really get to know that. Another really good palette is the um, Barry M Chisel Cheeks Contour Kit. As you can see, it's got a highlighting shade to set your highlighter. Then it's got the nice bronzy red undertone shade and then an actual contour shade. And it's got a little um, diagram, little... Um, this just shows you how to use the different products and where to put it on your face and where to place it. So, um, and one of my recent purchases, which I'm absolutely loving and I've been using quite a lot, is this Sculpting Powder by MAC and this is shadowy. I absolutely love this, especially for darker skin. This is an amazing contour. And it gives off a rather nice, you know, natural looking contour on your face as well. So, um... I'm going to go in and just show you guys how I will apply it to my face um, and I'm going to apply the bronzer with this Barbara Daily um, blush brush so I'm first going to go in with the MUA shade in 2 shade 2 and guys um, bronzers go slightly where you put your blush rather than you know to right where you would contour so um, I kind of like doing it like that and then sort of like um, building it upwards slightly just to warm up my face and just you know because i can as you can see i've just highlighted and i've just put part of my foundation my face looks kind of flat there's no natural contour going on and everything and my face doesn't you know look beat look light and slayed so um yes yeah, so i'm just going to use that to warm up my face as you guys can see also a bit on my forehead as well And slightly on my jawline as you guys can see now this is sort of bring back like a flush look to my face um, my face doesn't look as dull and flat as it did a few seconds ago so now using the same brush I'm just gonna go in with my contour and I'm gonna use shadowy my Mac and I'm just gonna slightly go right where my natural contour would be
this product really goes a long way so um a little goes a long way with this product so you just have to really be careful not to put too much on your blush if not you just got you're gonna have to struggle kind of um blending that out and obviously on my forehead so that you know it doesn't look as big as it really is just give that you know illusion definitely again on my jawline I kind of prefer this cheek to this cheek all the time for some reason this one just likes you no know, not looking as light as i want it to look you know on fleek and next what i do what you don't you don't want to do is go in with an actual blush you know just to give a little flush look to your face and you know you don't look so dead and dull so i'm using a milani's baked blush in luminoso so i'm just gonna apply this up on my cheek slightly over where i have placed that bronzer next i like to use a highlighter and i just like using this because i for some reason i feel it really looks good in pictures and it gives your face that sort of glow um and highlighters can be used when you want to do that like go for that really nice and dewy look so um that's what i'm going for that's why i really like highlights i've really got into it this past couple of months i'm just i've been buying so many different highlighters from different brands and um today i'm using this um top shop one it's called the glow stick it looks like this and i'm just going to i've broken it so i'm going to be really careful i'm just going to apply this to the um, top of my cheeks and the tip of my nose and a tiny bit on my cubic bone and guys um today i did not contour my nose what i actually did is highlight um slightly upwards as well i learned this from um a makeup artist called amrezi um so she's um what she does is highlight like she doesn't stop highlight stop the highlight here she kind of brings it up a bit so it kind of narrows down the nose and gives you makes your nose look quite tiny and small so i've not contoured it all i've done is highlight it like the bridge of the nose as well and i think this is a really good technique i might do a video on this as well but um i told you guys already so you guys should definitely try that out if you because sometimes when i do contour my nose i realize my nose looks sort of dirty and muddy and i can't blend the contour of my nose as well as i want to and then putting a highlighter on the tip of your nose like this really gives your nose that little flick it makes it, it just gives the appearance of that like as you can see my nose like it's got a little flick on the tip and then it just makes your nose appear really <laughs> small so if you're going if you're looking for a tip on that as well that's another good tip and then i'm just applying some to my cheekbones i'm gonna blend that out in a bit i sometimes put um highlight on you know just um, above my eyebrows to give a more dewy look and my chin but today i'm not going for that look so i won't be doing that and slightly on my cute lips bone and i'm just going to use this primark um stippling brush just to blend everything out to be honest i'm not a fan of this um highlighter it's not giving me that beyonce glow like i want so I won't be using it often but yeah what can you do so guys I hope you learned something from this it was super quick I just thought I would um you know I have learned that you know share it with the rest of you dolls you beauts out there and yeah so this is just you know mm -mm. see that can't tell on fleek oh nah you see them cheekbones popping all right this cheek never I don't know if everyone else has this it's like this side of my it's just like no no what you doing? And then this side is just like, okay, mm -mm. <laughs> what slate <late> beat snatch? <laughs> So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something new and cool today. And I'll definitely see you guys in my next video. Remember to be beautiful always and be your own kind of beautiful. Mwah. And guys, I have finally created a blog which I will be, you know, updating stuff on and putting new like um 
I'll be using it a lot. You know, I'll be blogging. I'm trying to start blogging. So I'll put a link to that right in the description. The right in the description box. I can't talk. So please make sure you go check that out. You know, um, I'm new to this blogging life. So if you guys got any advice for me as well, and if you want me to pop, anything you want me to be blogging about, do don't be afraid to contact me and holler at me. Uh, you know, Instagram, whatever. Write write, write it down in the comment box, and I do have a contact page. On my blog so you guys can go check that out i felt like i was just talking without breathing right there and i was like to, i had to give myself a <gasps> so mm.